Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. My name is Kim, this is Kim's Beauty Basics, and I'm starting a new series. So this series is gonna be about how not to suck at certain things in makeup. So it's just stuff that I wish that I knew a little bit sooner and that I had to figure out on my own. So I wanted to share my tips and tricks with you on this channel, and so I think this series is a great way to do it. And so one of the very first things that I wanna do is a liquid eyeliner, because that is one of my signature looks. I love liquid eyeliner. It stays put, it's easy, and it is dramatic, and people seem to think it's really hard, but to me, I've done it for years, and it's really easy now. If you end up liking this video, hit that like button. It helps me out a ton. And then if you also want to subscribe to my channel, just hit that subscribe button down below and hit that that bell notification to get notifications whenever I post. Anyway, let's get right into the video, guys. So liquid liner, guys. Liquid liner is a little bit scary sometimes because it seems very precise and very hard to fix once you've messed up, but it's not. I really think liquid liner is an easy way to add a lot of punch to your look and a lot of drama without having to do too much effort. And I also use liquid liner to not only emphasize my eyes, but also make them look a little bit farther apart and also give them a little bit more of a cat eye effect. When I first started, one of the best tips that I can give to you is just doing a small wing. Not winging it out too far is super easy and a good way to transition into building up your wing liner skills. So personally, I don't like waterproof makeup in general general, but the only exception is definitely liquid liner. I love waterproof liquid liner because it usually stays through the day and is probably one of the best long-lasting makeup products that I put on my face every day. Right now, I'll tell you one of my favorite liquid liners, which we will be using in the video today. It's a Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in Intense Black. So what's different about this is it is waterproof, as I mentioned I really like, but it is a felt tip, but it comes to a very nice point. I'll just swatch it on the back of my hand so you can see. It almost comes off like a brush, and it's very pigmented and very black. And one thing that's also nice about it is it dries down fairly matte. A lot of people lately don't like a shiny liquid eyeliner. Personally, I don't care that much as long as it works. Anyway guys, I need some eyeliner on my eyes, so let's do that and I will show you how not to suck at liquid eyeliner. Okay guys, we are zoomed in nice and close, so hopefully you can see this very well. Uh, I'm going to be using my Estilo Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. So first things first, first we're gonna do a daytime cat eye. One quick, quick tip that I will give you is that I don't go all the way into the inner corner of my eye. I actually start from the outside, outer one third of my eye and go out from there. I don't line anything in here because during the day, my mascara will cover pretty much the rest of it. First things first, I'm holding this like a pencil. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start on the outer one third and I'm gonna close my eye and just make a small little mark there. So we've started our wing, even though it doesn't look like it. And I'm just drawing the upper part of the wing. And I, I decided I wanted to go across, but it went a little bit up. So I've closed my eye again and I'm bringing it up a little bit. Don't worry about making a smooth line. I'm just worried about the, what the top looks like because the top is what our wing is going to look like. The bottom we're gonna fill in. So don't worry if that's like streaky or patchy. So again, I'm just gonna go over the line a little bit more and start filling in the wing. So I'm just pulling it out a little bit more so our points nice and sharp. One tip that I'll give you that I personally use is that I go from the outer corner to here and bring it across, but I never bring the brush the other way. I never bring it back across the other way because this does have a little bit of a brush tip. It will be wider where you first push down and then when you let go of pressure, obviously it's gonna wing out and sharpen. So if you push it down here, then you're gonna end up with a fatter line on this side, but you really wanna keep the, the thicker line or fatter line on this side and the thinner line on this side. So I always brush, do my brush strokes from here to here, and I only really worry about the top line being nice and cohesive, and then filling in the bottom is quite easy after. And I always just go from the bottom corner of my eye and bring it up to where we have put the point. Honestly guys, I promise it's really simple. It looks like I've done my eyeliner all the way across, but I haven't. And the nice thing about that is 
because I didn't do my liner here, when I curl my lashes and put my mascara on, my lashes here look longer and thicker. This is the liner here. This is what I would do on a daily basis. So if you want to make it more dramatic, that's pretty easy. All I do is I go a little bit farther into my eye. So I'll just show you. I'm going to go in from maybe here. Keeping it pretty tight along. And just following basically the contours of your eye. And then to make it even more dramatic on the outside, you just take it and just go a little bit farther. What I really follow is the contours of my bottom eyelid. See how it is angled this way? That's basically the angle that I want to follow as I go up with my liner to give me that slanted cat eye look. So whatever angle your bottom eyelid takes, it's usually a good guide to where you should flick up your bottom liner. Also another tip guys is if you mess up, which happens all the time, a Q-tip is your best friend. Before it dries, if you're using a formula that can be smudged across okay, then I would recommend just using the Q-tip as is and then just wiping up to pull um, any excess product out. But if it has dried, just using a makeup remover, I have just my Garnier micellar water here and I would just wet the Q-tip with that and then just apply underneath. So when you're doing your second eye, my best tip that I can give you is to look in a mirror and look at both eyes and then just see where about you are going to be going to. So I know I'm going about here. I'm not going to dot it because sometimes you can fix it and it, it'll still work. So I don't usually dot it, but I will just give it get, take a mental note of where that is and see where I want to go. So again, I'm going for my one third to start. And then I'm just opening my eye, seeing what I did, and seeing how I can fix it and make it match. So again, I'm just taking a look at where my bottom eyelid is and taking that angle into account. Because we did the other eye a little bit more dramatic, so I went a little bit farther in, I'm going to match that on this side. Just going back and touching up a little bit on this side as well. Since I've completed both my wings, I just did a little bit on the inside of each eye just to make it blend more into my eye. Now I'm just gonna compare the wings because they are a little bit different. I'm gonna add a little bit more roundness to this one. So that's my finished eyeliner look. I definitely don't do this on a normal basis. I normally just do the outer one third and out. And if you start with that, you can conquer liquid liner really easily. Hey guys, so I just zoomed you out a little bit so you can see the liner as a whole and so you can see the whole makeup look. It helps to look in a larger mirror and not just to do it in a really small mirror when you're doing liquid liner. I think that's another great tip. Always be sparing when you are adding more because you're just gonna end up with these like really black eyes if you just keep going. So I'm gonna do a little bit more. For me, I would stop there. It's not about having perfect matching eyeliner. It's about having a nice balance and then looking similar. It's just like your eyebrows. They are not twins. They're more of sisters. Go from the outer corners and then follow the contours of my lower lash line. What I like is when I close my eye, it's very cohesive and it looks like a nice like cat eye look. I don't like liners that really like look like a check mark and just go like straight and then go straight up. I like it to have a little bit more of a flow and a little bit more of a curve to it. It complements your eye shape a little bit better. Also, when you do the outer corners of your eyes and don't bring the lash, the liner too far in, you also pull your eyes away a little bit. It helps emphasize your lashes and your eyes and it just gives you this pop. I'm gonna go put some lashes on and I will show you guys the final makeup look. I just wanted to zoom in nice and close so you can see the mascara applied and the final look all together with every blink that my liner doesn't look like a harsh line but rather it looks like it curves with my eye so one other thing that i'll mention is i didn't rest my hand on my face i don't know for me it doesn't steady my hand at all when i was first learning i used to put my hand here and then put my other hand like right here and so i would steady my this liner hand with my other hand so by doing that 
I just got a little bit more steady and go like this. I don't know if it's a mental thing or if it actually helps at all. If that helps anyone, awesome. And then make sure you let it dry before you start applying your mascara. There's nothing worse than when you finished all your makeup and your eye makeup is perfect and it's exactly how you wanted it and you've applied your eyeliner and it's perfect and then you blink or you cough or something happens and all of a sudden you have eyeliner all over your top eyelid and it ruins your makeup look and you have to take everything off. That is the worst. So make sure you choose a good formula that isn't too watery. I highly recommend the Stila one. It does really last through the day. From the drugstore, my top three recommendations would be the Milani Liquid Eyeliner, the NYC Liquid Eyeliner, liner and NYX liquid liner as well. So that's pretty much it for me. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope I helped you not suck at liquid liner. I hope that I helped you learn a couple things and I hope I helped you maybe just try it out. Liquid liner should not be intimidating. It should just be fun. If you want to wear it, wear it. I will put all the items that I used in this video on the rest of my face in the description box below as I always do. If you want to see more of my content then just hit that subscribe button because more videos like this will be coming your way. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having an amazing day or night wherever you are and I hope that I see you very soon in my next video.